Hello everybody. I think that I am finally ready to share this. This is my April ABC Junk Journal Challenge. And it was quite a stretch for me because there were a lot of things that I had never done before. I had a whole lot of you for untried elements. And it took a lot of imagination and scrambling around and looking at other people's ideas and trying to make them my own. So let's go through it. You can let me know what you think of it. The first thing we have, this was my jumping off point. All the letters of the alphabet got their own tag representing what that particular element was supposed to be. This one was for altar. So I looked up the word altar tore it out of my old, old dictionary, and this is an altered tag. And we'll go through that, but first I have to untie it. My journal is tied together with this black velvet ribbon, simply looped through one of Tim Holt's old-fashioned safety pins. There's a couple of yards of this black velvet ribbon, so anybody who wanted to um, buy this would have plenty of extra to work with. I'm going to set this to the side just a little bit so we can flip through the tags. This is A for altered, B for book, and I have a little book that I cut out right here. It says book right there. C for coloring page. And there's the word color. D was for digital, and digital was not in this very old dictionary that I took it out of, took these words out of, so I found the word digit and put a little digital download on there. E is for envelope, and I made this teeny tiny little envelope here that's actually a real working envelope that has a little tiny, tiny treat tucked in. And yes, I have to use the tweezers because my fingers do not cooperate for that. F is for flip. And I actually had two for flip. And this flip is being held together with this diamond paper clip. There's my F for flip. And I'll just slide this back on there. I was going to say real quick, but that wasn't real quick. G was for guest check. H. H was for hidden element. And the hidden part is right here. Behind the H. And I've got a little bitty piece of ephemera tucked back in there. It's really hard to do these elements on these little tags. And so that really, really did stretch me. I was for an image from a magazine. I don't have a lot of magazines, but I did find this in a catalog, so I'm pretty sure that it works. J was for junk mail. This barcode is from junk mail. K was for keeping spot. And right there's that little keeping spot for this little tag. L was for lace. M was for music. Whoops, and I just pulled that sticker right off. I'll have to glue that back down later. N was for a note card, and it's on the back, note paper. O was for ombre, and I had some ombre washi tape. P is for pocket, and the pocket's on the back. With plenty of writing space hidden in the pocket. Q was for quilt, and I had a stamp that had all of these stitch marks and measurements. Oh, I've got that upside down. There we go. And I just stamped that on the back. R was for recipe. It's a cardstock sticker from Dollar Tree. S was for stamp. Now, I'm pretty sure that it was for stamping or stenciling, but I think that that kind of shows. I thought it was cute anyway. It works for me. 
T is for torn. And I tore so many things. Some um, not on purpose while I was making this. U was for untried. And so I had this little piece of pattern paper that had the word trial on it. And this whole clippy thing was untried. So that's my entry for that. V was for vellum. This is a vellum strip from a Tim Holtz book. W for washi tape. X was something extra. And so I had this little bit of film strip that I stuck in there. Extra whatever. Y was for yellowed or aged paper. And then Z was for zigzag, and I zigzag stitched on my paper sewing machine. I have a sewing machine for paper and a sewing machine for cloth because I don't know if it's good for one or bad for the other. So I'm just not gonna take any chances. So there's that little setup. And then here is my book. I had an old Webster's Illustrated Dictionary. I believe it was 1949. I can look real quick. 1949. It was falling apart. So I made the inside and made these spacer areas from some embossed felt that I had. And I really, really like the look and the strength that it gives this, this book. It's a chunky one. It's three signatures. I forgot to count the pages. I struggled with this one for my own reasons. I wanted to make one that wasn't really lacy foo-foo. For um, someone who just doesn't really get into that, not everybody likes all the lace and ribbons and everything like that. Now it's not necessarily just for a guy or just for a girl. I figure everybody can use journals and not everybody likes all the foo-foo. So this was a new venture for me, this whole book. So let's flip through it. The first page, the first signature, we have this bookmark that I made from paperclip. It is lined so that it just slides right on. And of course it's not going to because I'm making a video. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm just not starting back far enough. Here we go. Just slides right on there. Right on, right off. This is from a pad of paper I found. And the whole sheet is just books. Just books. And this is what I used to uh, determine my color selections for the things in the book. So it just slides right on there. I've got two cards. These have tissue on them, which it was vellum or tissue. It also has some handmade paper that has some flowers and grasses in there. I love this paper and I don't know how I did it and I wish I could make some more. This is coffee dyed. And I took out of this dictionary a page, the first page of each letter, and it is one of the pages that is in each signature, A through Z. And I went through and decorated them. Some have zigzag stitches and washi and tissue. And there's some more washi right there. This is a napkin that is adorable that I took the front page out of a paperback Roger's thesaurus that I got at the Dollar Tree. And there's a little flip with a hidden writing spot. Here we have a note card tucked behind this belly band. I love the size of that note card and the colors were perfect. Here we have some altered tags. Nice little altered tag there. This one's a little different because when you turn it over, this is one of my hidden spots. And an altered tag. And a pocket. A pair of pockets. More note cards.
folds up, tucks in to this little tab here. Looks just like a tag. You don't know about all the other fancy stuff behind it. I have some stamping here. No, this is this is not stamping, this is stenciling. Put some ink through a stencil. This is stamping. Breathe, believe, balance, brave, belong. I have lots of different scrapbook papers in here. C, collector of memories. And these little tags here, I thought fit perfectly for the theater, the circus, for a trip. Just a little collage there. Some more of my coffee dyed paper. Letter D, and here's another tag. And this little holder is open on this side so that you can open up this little double-sided tag. You've got two sides to write on. And this is part of my lace entry, part of my torn paper, some more of that tissue, more scrapbook paper. This coffee paper, this was a funny story. I actually spilled a cup of coffee before I put my creamer in it. And instead of grabbing the towels, I just grabbed a stack of paper that was nearby and cleaned it up with that. And I thought it turned out really cute. So if you're going to take a stack of paper to clean up coffee, you might as well embrace that journey and use it. <laughs> this is some handmade paper with flower petals in it. I love that blue. More stamping and washi. Here is a lace element, torn paper element, washi, tissue, and let's see, stamped. And this is my, one of my hidden spots, if I can grab the right piece without tearing it up. I've got a double tag here. It just tucks right back in there. I thought this was funny because on my hidden spot, the word apparent was right there. And I like this little word. I thought it went well with it. Finders, keepers. For the letter F, I used a punch. Just punched out little flowers and then just moved them over and glued them on there. Thought that was cute. This is a pair of pockets. The other pocket is on this other side. Here's some writing paper tucked in. More of my coffee spill paper. Letter G is green, and it's got another bit of stamping and just some writing paper tucked in there. Center of my journal has two little clock hands and a clock face right here tied to the center. This is my flip out. Flip out, flip out, flip out, flip out. And here's a bookmark. Bookmark was one of our items. It's also something unused. I've never made a bookmark out of a book spine before. And this just popped right off of my book. I wasn't even intending to use it. And you flip it over. You've got another little flip out and a hidden journaling spot. And that just tucks right in there. Fold it down, fold it down, fold it down, fold it down. This is the back side of the letters. I tried to decorate them as well. I love that curly Q paper clip. Another little journaling spot in a pocket. Another journaling spot is taped on with washi. And another journaling card. This one has the tissue and the yellowed paper. More writing space, the handmade paper. This is more tissue paper that has been glued on. My recipe cards, R is for recipe and for rooster. I found those by accident. They were tucked into a book that I bought at Goodwill. And <laughs> it was meant to be. My grandchildren like to help me. I, a lot of people who have seen my videos before know that. And so they like to make things for me to use. And so this is a little slide in pocket with a little journaling space. It's got space both front and back. I like it. It's got the alphabet, at least parts of it. 
more tissue because when I tore this page out, I tore a corner off of that page and I thought, oh, perfect. There's another lace piece. This is another tuck spot. This is my guest check. It has stamping, the guest check, tissue, yellowed paper, torn paper, and journaling space right here on the back. It slides right in there. This is just the double tuck that is sewn on top and bottom. It's actually one of my favorite kind of tucks to make. More nap, this is a napkin. I think that counts under the tissue. Here is another spot. This is my envelope. I believe that, yes. This is my envelope, and here you can pull this out. You've got more writing space. Got a couple of sheets of writing paper there. This isn't lace, it's a ribbon, so I know that that doesn't count. But it does help to get this paper out because otherwise it's really kind of tight. And how I did this, if you can look at the side, I folded this paper back on itself about half an inch and I cut a slit that was just as wide as the envelope, slid that down in there and glued it all together. So it's also kind of hidden because you don't expect that to be an envelope right there. Let me get this ribbon a little more even there. And I just like the way that looks. thought it looked really neat. That's the end of the first signature. Here in the middle, I've got the letters down at the bottom, A to Z, little dangle there. Here, I've got a brad that is helping to hold this triple tag in place. Got the triple tag, this one has a piece of fabric, this one has tissue, and a film strip. That was part of my untried element. This is actual film strip from about 20 years ago that I found and I just thought that was cool. This is where I tried to get an eyelet into something and it just smashed weird and I thought that that would look cute on there and it does. A little paper, paper turning tab. Here's another, I call this a pair of pockets. It could also be an envelope because it's torn or cut off in an envelope. I'll simply fastened through the veil, vellum with this brad. It's got a writing spot. It's been, aged with, I like brushed corduroy because I think that the brushed corduroy distress oxide looks much more like naturally aged paper than the vintage photo does. Just personal preference. I covered up the back of the brad with this little wooden piece here. More writing space on that vellum. Another piece of the napkin. This is from a really, really old book. More washi, more coffee spill. This is a tuck spot with little writing places and vellum, three vellum pieces right there. This is just little strips of paper and they are helping to reinforce the edge of this page along with the whole reinforcer so that I could put this little, little gem there. It's not a gem. What is that? Pendant? I'm not sure. <laughs> you let me know if there's a better word for it. Here I have some writing places. This is a ticket to a show at the local high school from 2006. And this says, replace, this was for the Curious Savage, and then it says, replace fear of the unknown with curiosity. The journey is the destination. Little tuck spot. This is a tag from clothing. I didn't do a thing to it. That's exactly how it came. Well, no, I take that back. There was a little something on it there. Oh, maybe there was a sticky spot that I tried to get off. I think it works. You can write on it. I didn't have to alter it at all. This was a little fabric tag that I had. I cut little slits in it and put that little key into this tiny, tiny, I don't know if that's a bag or an envelope, but it works. More coffee paper. This is a handkerchief, a lady's hanky, embroidered 
with the lace and the zigzag. And then I have three little tuck spots to put writing. And the ones in the back are kind of hidden because if you don't know to turn that down, you're not going to see that and that. I don't have any in the back one because it was going to be too fat. More lace, more leaves, and some library cards for the letter L. Another bookmark made out of some paper that was printed with books. Here, tucked in, is a note card with an envelope. You shine brighter than the stars. I would put that in there mostly for the color, but I also kind of liked it for the L for the letter. More of my coffee dyed paper. I have washi washi, M, and music. Again, the ribbon is to help pull the card out because sometimes those puppies just get stuck. They just get stuck. This one, I just, this is just the sheet folded in half like any of the other pages in the signature. But I washi taped this part down. It's glued up here. This was to give it a little bit more strength because you are shoving that card in there. And you really don't want to damage it if you can help it. And there's another piece of napkin that I think coordinates beautifully with that paper. And that's totally by accident. Here's another little well. Another little hidden journaling spot because it just looks like it's a little tab put on there. But you can unfold it and write on it. And yes, I put that paper in there crooked on purpose. It's at an odd angle, O for odd. I was struggling. More yellowed paper, a couple of more tags that are hanging on a curled paper clip. For the letter P for postcard and paper clip. And music, sheet music with more of the uh, tissue paper glued on. This is the center of the whole book. And this is, um, Kind of my own invention. I think I came up with this fold. I haven't seen anybody else do it. I'll get to it in just a second. We've got a little tuck spot with a postcard with a stamp on it in there. Got the dictionary page with pocket, 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 pocket. And a tag in one. Writing space and writing space in the other two. I accordion folded this somewhat offset. It's just a sheet of paper. First, I cut the sheet of paper diagonally about two inches up from these opposite corners. And that gave me this diagonal cut. And then I folded kind of an offset accordion fold and then sewed the edges together. And that gave me one, two, three pockets right there. And then the same over here, but I turned it sideways. And there's one. There's two, and there's three. And then, in addition, got more writing paper tucked in there. There's another piece of the lace. This is a double pocket because you have this tucked on this side. This one tucks way in there. Here I have a keeping spot. It's just a piece of that embossed felt that I used with a button tied on with wax thread and it just holds right in there. So there's another journaling spot. More of the tissue. There's two different tissues on there. More washi. Here's another of my lace. I cut this out of an old, old tablecloth that I got and put it onto this oval shaped tag with a little leaf. I don't know why I can't think of the word. That little leaf trinket, we'll go with trinket. I know that's not it. We have another tuck spot with some, with some tissue and some stamping. More coffee dyed paper. More tissue, more music, coloring page paper. Here is another tuck spot. This is simply glued at the bottom, and then this lace reinforces holding the top into place because it's wide open there. And two more writing, writing spots and a piece of vellum with the ABC 
animals on it. That's from Tim Holtz. Boy, this is a big book. This is taking a long time on this video. More of my coffee spill paper. More vellum that I had glued to the glued to the back of an index card for writing and added some more lace on there. This is just the page with the corner folded down, but I thought that folding it like that and putting the card there added a little more interest. I like to put these little reinforcer holes and then tuck the paper clip through there instead of having the paper clip just on the edge of the page because sometimes that can rip your pages and this seems to be a little stronger. There's another little card with journaling space, another piece of paper that just folds out. And then of course I have the regular paper clip here after saying that about the other paper clip. Here's a little glassine bag with some coffee dyed tickets and a little writing space in there. This is also I'll have to take that paper clip off. This is also another hidden spot because back here we've got some little note paper tucked in. And you wouldn't know it was there. More coffee spill paper, another page from that book. This book was $18.97, I believe. And I liked how this worked out. Perseverance. Hope is never lost on the vellum with that sticker. So trust your heart. And then I just continued that little wreath right over here. Here is my junk mail pocket. I got this. This was from the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. It was a piece of mail wanting me to come and gamble some money. And I thought it went really, really well. These are some journaling cards with this food lion gift card pocket that one of my friends gave to me. I just covered up the food lion with the washi tape and then it's got two little journaling cards in there. And now we come to the third signature and right here we've got the flip up flip down. We've got stamping. We've got the handmade tissue paper. When you open this up there are several sheets of note paper that you can tear out. I Put it in there with PVH, PHV, bookbinders glue, so it comes out easily, but it stays in there until you want it to come out. Here's a card with the washi and a little hidden journaling spot. Here's my quilt, Q for quilt. It's a little fabric flip up and some more writing space on the back of the ABC sheet. Right here for R, we have receipts and a card that says recharge. And you could tuck something up in behind there too because that kind of makes a little impromptu pocket. Letter S is for stamps. I just glued that border on there and included this page from a book for stamp collectors. And another little stamp on top of the, uh, or that's, that's a stamp, but it's not stamped. It's a sticker stamp <laughs> on top of some of that handmade paper on the graph paper. T for tissue and twine and a tube rose. This is a digital image. This is my digital image. I think it might be the only one I have in this book because that's something that could also be my U for untried because this is the first time I've done that. Here we have another little dangle. We've got a pair of pockets again, the other pockets on the other side. Made a little collage here with washi and tissue and some torn paper. Another writing spot right here with a couple of neat tags, ombre tags. And I'm not sure where I got it. And just made a little corrugated cardboard pocket on that. More coffee paper, V for vellum. I put that vellum butterfly on there. And then here are my music entries. This is from a music book, a book about music. I've got two flashcards here. There is room to journal on them. 
There's probably more room to journal on the front even than on the back. Of course, front or back is all relative, you decide. And then the back side, still more music, talking about music and a little bitty journaling card that I made with, that's another magazine image. I forgot I did that. All right. W, we got some wavy sticker that I just put on there. I love this. I think this turned out so pretty. And it is actually not the side of the page that's active. You could write on there if you wanted to, but this is the side. I made a belly band, but I made it a little differently. I just sliced through this paper, stopping a half an inch from each end. This is covering those slices to almost, almost covers it completely. And this is my ombre paper, my ombre rainbow that I made. It also has stamping, second generation, first and second generation with the tumbling alphabet typewriter. When I got done, I spritzed it just with fine mist of, uh, from a sprayer to make it look a little bit more aged and not quite so crisp. Nice little journaling place on the back. And then this just slides right back in there like that. And there's more of the dictionary paper. Z for zebra. Got some really dark tags here because I felt like the zebra pocket needed it. This is just some heavy, heavy paper. I think that it might be handmade because it almost feels like felt. And there's another one there on the back. More of the coffee spill paper. Here's my coloring page. I kind of like it. I think it's upside down. But I liked it better upside down than I did the other way. I think because it's uplifting instead of feeling like things are falling down on you. To me, that feels like it's kind of falling down on you. This way, it's more lifting you up. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. Coffee spill paper. Another little tuck spot with two journaling cards. I just folded that over again for interest. But this little pocket is made just by folding that paper over. Little tiny paper clip. Another vellum. This is a button tag that I added ribbon to and index card to the back so you can just write on it. Again, another tuck spot where you could put a little bit of paper. This, I believe, Julie showed me these on a video showed us these little guest tags from Dollar General and I immediately went out and I found them and so that's just a little holder there got a little bit of journaling card here just paper clipped onto the page so it comes right off we have a little collage here washi tape I don't think this fills anything else except for the fact that I liked it more coffee paper, more tissue and torn. Here's X. This is my crossword puzzle. And it's actually just a sheet of scrapbooking paper, and it's got the solution on the back. And that's from KI Memories 2005, so I don't even know if you could find it now if you wanted it. And that's just put in one of the pair of pockets and I got it being held kind of in place with that paper clip so that it doesn't flip out as you turn the pages. More writing. This is also from an envelope. I just cut a corner off and cut across this way and made this semi-belly band pocket. I don't know. Right here. Of course, I'm on video. It's not going to go in the pocket. There we go. Here's the other side of that page from the stamp book. Here is what was actually my magazine page. Hmm. I never really did like it. I ended up covering most of it up. This was the hardest one of the elements for me to figure out. And so I have a torn old index card. I found this in one of the old books that I 
uh, bought. This is actually aged except for where that torn is. I did just a little bit of it with the antique linen. Little journaling card. You could actually write on there if you wanted to. Another journaling card covering up those croissants. And in this pocket is some staff paper. I think this was from a book of staff paper that was from 1950 something. Here's a trio of tags with more ribbon tie or lace, that's lace, tying them together. And another little spot where you could tuck something in. Some of my off cuts decorating that page. And then the last page folds out. It's a double flip out, Got all that space for writing. And then there's the back with that lovely, lovely felt. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with the way this turned out. That was an untried element also. And that is it. Let me know what you think. If you want to know about anything else, let me know that too. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.